Hello. After uh, a great many years, I finally upgraded my first soldering iron. Uh, this is an Antex 25. Uh, first purchased this in 1981. It's now 2016. So you do the math and work out how many years I've had this. Um, shortly after I bought this, they did change the design of these over to um, what I understand is this model here. The main difference from what I can tell is the way that the element unit is attached. You notice on the older unit uh, there are actually screws uh, securing the element unit into the iron and it's actually developed cracks just around here. So I don't know if you can see but that's actually moving sideways quite a lot uh, just at that point there. Um, there are in fact cracks, I think you can possibly just make them out there. Uh, so the end of the iron is now quite floppy, it still works perfectly, um, I can still solder with it. The only other issue with these irons is that the tips can be quite expensive. Um, certainly a lot more expensive than the Chinese ones available on eBay. And this is a brilliant iron, it's only 25 watts. Um, it heats things up quite nicely, quite quickly. Um, if you're doing larger week and you work and you put a larger um, flat tip on it, uh, it heats stuff up no problem. One of the advantages of it being 25 watts is it tends not to overheat things. So you can really precisely control the amount of heat you're putting in, uh, even without a regulated workstation. The newer iron is a little bit different. Um, Basically the end of this unscrews and the end of the uh, element unit is clamped in so the screws are gone. So as I mentioned shortly after I bought this iron here in 1981 they moved over to more uh, design which is similar to this. And it's been very difficult to get the parts for the older irons. I've never seen them on eBay. Um, I have seen the replacement units for these though. So I got this on... Uh, eBay, it's not a new iron. Um, brand new, these will run you up to about $60-$70. Um, got this one for about $20 New Zealand second hand. Uh, it's in very good condition. Um, and I'm looking forward to getting at least uh, the same amount of time out of this one as I got out of my old one. It's at 1981, that's um, I think it's just over 30 years. Uh, 30, what is it? Um, 81, 19, 29, 29. Yep, 35 years I've had this iron. So uh, it's still working. I plan to keep on using it, but for more precise work, um, where you, you know, just doing general soldering, it should be fine with the wobbly bit on the end. Uh, I might even try and track down some spare parts for it. Uh, but I'm hoping this iron is going to give me the same amount of um, lifespan. Uh, the only thing it came from Singapore, so I just could change the British style plug um, over to the New Zealand style plug. So it should be fun. I'm really looking forward to trying this iron out. And uh, yep, uh, if I get another 35 years out of it, I'll be quite pleased. See you.